In other news, the business community in Kitengela town, Kajeda County, are counting losses following a massive destruction of property and looting during the pro good governance protest held on Tuesday. They are now calling on the government to ensure safety of their business around or, or rather during a protest which they say have been invaded by goons. Business owners in Kitengela recount massive losses after their premises were raided during the protest on Tuesday to demand for good governance. They lamented that even after shutting down their premises before the protest, they still suffer destruction of property. <laughs> na kuharibia watu kazi kwa sababu sasa sisi ni kama wametuharibia kazi na tulikuwa mahali tulikuwa tunatafutia watoto uga na kwa saa hizi hatujui venye kunaweza tedeka during the clashes between stone throwing protesters and armed police one protester was reportedly shot dead by police the traders are now calling on government to give them assurance that their property will be protected in future protests design so mmeona tu vile tuligongewa jana na watu wa maandamano wakaingia na wakapora mali mingi walitupora kusema kweli hata mnaona vile vitu zimeanguka chini na vile wamegonga vio sasa leo tunangangana kurodoa mai kwa barabara na mmechafua mji yetu ya kitengera kwa hivyo tunawaomba kama hii ndio demonstration yeli ishe Pizza Inn, Creamy Inn, Chicken Inn, Super Loaf Bakery, Gas Cylinders Distributors, General Food Suppliers were some of the businesses affected <laughs> In Kibwezi Makweni County, two people were shot dead while scores of others sustained bullet injuries during similar protests. The duo, both men, are alleged to have been shot by police officers who were quelling the demonstrators in Kibwezi town. This angered the protesters who then moved the bodies on hospital stretchers to Kibwezi police station. <laughs> Our, our friends and yes, I I if I why are they using live bullets and upon reaching the station's main entrance they were reportedly repulsed by police officers who shot in the air forcing them to abandon the bodies at the entrance of the police station